We really do need to get rid of these dead bodies. To say they're starting to smell would be an understatement. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gave me. back here on Vectera, but here we are. Lynn, you're the only one left. You need to get out of here. You need to evacuate. I picked up a lot of digipics on our travels. Again? That's all you hey. ever do is want to talk. What is it? Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. Oh. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. Oh, well. Uh, thank you. Um, I feel confused, like I don't understand what's happened to me. Mm -hmm. That's a very reasonable answer. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. What? We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Hmm. Is the energy dangerous? Although I don't know the exact nature of the energy you absorbed, I'm fairly certain it means you no harm. I don't have any scientific data to back that up, so you'll just have to trust my intuition. Don't worry, you'll be fine. All right, well. To be honest, I'm scared half to death. I know, and I feel terrible that I can't provide you with the proper reassurance. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. You think it was built by aliens? It's a possibility I've considered, but I'm not 100% convinced. The only thing we can be certain of is that the technology we've encountered points to beings that live outside the settled systems. Hmm. Now, you're starting to worry me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid my curious mind is once again overriding my manners. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. 
Hmm. And Constellation has never heard of these temples before. As far as Constellation's concerned, you're the first human we're aware of that's ever encountered one of these places. Now, whether you consider that lucky or not, that's another matter entirely. Well, I would have thought this would be exciting for you. Oh, believe me. This is positively exhilarating. <laughs> I should Think known. about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere? Well, maybe the temples were intended for humankind all along. Perhaps. We'll need more data to be sure. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this. Whatever it is, unharmed. <laughs> well, I couldn't ask for a better partner on this strange journey. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. Yes, you have. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that, but we're here trying to rescue Barrett or find out where he was taken. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Look for a power source. some power cells. Where are they outside? a power cell to repair the comms computer. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need any more, feel free to scavenge around. Are you all right? I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do. Even when the worst happens. Have you got any more power cells? Only managed to scrounge up one so far. I'm sure there's more around. All right, thank you. How many do we need? I don't think we need that many. I've got two. All right, let me go in here. No, no one my luck. I'm, I'll be sure. the components are sealed because of power cell. All right, so yeah, I did need all three of these. And this, this place is empty and it's hard to imagine it to be filled with miners. All right, let's keep going.
let's see if what we can find out now that we have power. Emergency transmission. I can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Hmm. That's the most, uh, calm distress call I think I've ever heard. What else? All right. I guess that's it then. Well, let's go and rescue them. Lynn? So, you actually get that computer working again? Yes, I did. I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? All right. Why don't you come with me? What? Really? Yes. Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do, but it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Mm, thank you. You know I always make room for you. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. Yeah, see? I'll be here if you need me. No, you're supposed and to hey, be coming with us. If you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. All right. What? 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 I thought we agreed Seems you were like coming you've been with keeping us. Keeping busy, Dusty. If uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. All right, can I assign you to my crew? Would you be okay working for me? Sure. I don't mind taking orders from a former employee. It can't be worse than working for Barrett. Hmm. I mean, I, will this mean that I get rid of Sarah if I say you're just the kind of traveling companion I want? You should come. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. I can assign her as crew. Okay, looks good. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. All right, then. Yeah, the ship needs a lot of work. And don't mind the dead bodies.
All right, everyone. Stand by for liftoff. Crew. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep Thank an you. eye out for Hello while you're at it? Of course. Sarah, you're with me. Is that you? Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Hold still, let me pat you up. Nah, nah, I'll, I'll be all right. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. You should let us help you. There's no reason for you to have to suffer needlessly. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Hmm. So we had a plan then? Mm, not <laughs> what you and I would call a plan, necessarily. Well, that doesn't explain the crashed ship. Oh, I'm getting to that. 
He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Hmm. Hmm, and he shot something he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out, and when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. So did he really survive the crash without a scratch? Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? But Barrett isn't here. I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So... I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. Hmm. They took him. Why? I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. Hmm, that was a long way of saying that the pirates have Barrett. Yeah, you know, you're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me? Me, laying here, half conscious, real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grav jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. All right, let's see. All right, let's get you on your feet. Yeah, just uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is, yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. <laughs> Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Well, do you have any skills that might come in handy on my crew? You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. Are you sure you're in good enough shape to travel? Uh, don't worry about me. I'm a tough cookie. The painkillers are starting to work. I'll be just fine after a Stop good nap. too. All right, then. Let's go. Phew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? All right, so you are now assigned to our ship. So the crew.
crew was just getting bigger and bigger. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Guess it's a good thing I stole that bigger ship. Alright, we need to get back to the ship. I need to rename that ship, actually. I don't like it. All right, can we, uh, yes. It's good to be back on board. I have something for you when you've got a sec. All right, everybody. It's time to make preparations for liftoff. Strap in, let's go. No one could possibly figure out how to find this, but somehow I did. I need to look under inventory. And here is emergency transmission too. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Tie him up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Okay. Travel to Bessel 3. Stand by, everybody, for grab jump. go. I've located his transponder signal. do need to get rid of these dead bodies. To say they're starting to smell would be an understatement. Here to shoot the breeze? Uh, no. How are you, Dusty? Good to see you, my crew. Sarah, you're with me. Come on. Vasco. Captain Duncan ID of service, Captain. Good day, Captain. Good day to you too. Is that sound? Come on, let's go.
like a desktop digiframe though. Not related to the digipig. Alright, there's a turret out here. Where is it? There it is. of level I have reached level 4 of ballistics ballistic weapon range is increased by 30% excellent and I've also reached level 4 of my pistol certification Pistol kills grant plus 25% critical hit chance for 5 seconds. Here we go. So I'm on track now. This training is paying off. Okay, I don't know how we're gonna get to that guy. Space trucker pack. No 
certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. Is that Pulling my leg again, right? Stretched out there. No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Thing. Unicorn. Not Kitty. What? The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come. Holy shit. You actually found me. I wish I could say this is the first time this has happened with Barrett. But, well, it isn't. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. Well... Are you friends... with... the pirate? Matsur the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Hmm. Both escape artists! Being captured by Sistep myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. All right, well, I'm here to take you home. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. Really? No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? <laughs> yeah, Sarah. We do have some insurance set aside for this exact problem. We do have some insurance set aside for this exact problem. Does that mean you'll be paying me, miss? We don't need to be introduced. Here's your money. And we would appreciate it if you could spread the word in the Crimson Fleet that Barrett shouldn't be harassed. It's not working out for any of us. That's a fair point. But I can't control a man's reputation. Do what you can. A suggestion to the right ears can work wonders. Hmm. Very well. Goodbye to you all. I have enjoyed this little exchange. See you around, Metzer. Uh, I mean, well, you know, hopefully not. Well, damn, we didn't get to kill him. Can I kill him now? Sarah's gonna flip out though. Just too peaceful of a, an outcome. Let these dead bodies, though, speak a lot louder than words. Aha, uh -huh, just what I need.
Let's see, I think we came. Doesn't matter. Whichever way. Yeah, we came this way. Alright everyone, this is your captain speaking. Prepare for liftoff. landing. seem like the right place. Hey, what's going on? All right, Barrett, well, welcome well, to my ship. Uh... I can't say I feel too bad about you killing someone who kidnapped me and probably murdered a lot of people, but... There's no buts. Uh, your ship is safe. I decided to get something bigger. It has a lot more power. So, back to the lodge? Uh, yeah, if I can figure out how to get us there. Who was that pirate, anyway? Matsur the Grim? Honestly? Pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. You were just laughing it up the whole time? Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Huh. Well, I'm in Constellation now. Did you know that I would end up joining? Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. Okay. Right. All right, so... Hey, how's it going? Yeah, hey. Glad everybody's settling in at your stations. After this, you're kind of a pirate of 
aficionado. Hmm. Too soon? You think? What, what the hell are we? Any discovery reports have come in while we were away. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. <laughs> I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I, I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around and help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? If you're coming with me, then who's in charge of the frontier? It doesn't really matter to me. We'll never get too attached to ships. After the fifth or sixth time, one blows up and you get marooned. The romance fades. Plus, the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. All right, well, since you understand what I'm going through, I think I would like to travel with you. Marvelous. Can I help? All right, Sarah. No more it's talks. Been quieter I find myself here spending more and more went time. To live on the Eiffel time. Business has appealed to me, but this is All exciting. right, people. All right, bro. It's good to have you with me. <laughs> <laughs>